Yo, yeah, what's up, my football pussy lickers? It's BKV2, British KV2, right here, and it is like 7 in the morning. I'm tired as hell. I got fucking balls under balls under my eyes. It's really just annoying. But before I get into this, let me just tell you how my little morning went. Now, I forgot the Madden 25 demo was going to drop the day after, which is, you know, today, August 13th. On the same day as the Injustice Zatanna DLC. So I was like, okay, I gotta go to sleep at 1, wake my ass up at like 5.45, and get both of these DLCs so I can record for you motherfuckers. And now I'm just tired as hell. I gotta open the door for my maid so I can't go to sleep. Like, this shit just gay, man. But, um... I'm not going to be, I probably won't be on this, like, commentating for the whole game. This is not a live commentary, by the way. I just took some clips from my Madden match in uh, the demo. I'm the Packers, by the way. And I'm basically just going to talk about a few things. Because we all know from my NCAA videos, I hardly know shit about football. So I'll just end up sounding like a bambling buffoon if I went on for, like, eight minutes. So I'll just get into this. Now, I dive into this shit as Aaron Rodgers, and I will say, for Aaron Rodgers' sake, they definitely got this motherfucker's face right. You know, his caveman face with that beard and, you know, his big googly eyes. Like, they got that shit right. I was like, yo, that's Aaron Rodgers, not Shaggy from Scooby-Doo like last year. And, um... I, I, I went into the offense, and I will say this, and I said this about NCAA, I think, in my first online commentary. I really like how they cleaned up the animation system. Like, you can see that the refined animation is still there, but it's not a lot of bugs. So, remember in Madden 13, the animation system was great. Don't get me wrong, you know, people flying everywhere, the ragdoll physics. But since that was like first introduced in Madden, you knew it was going to be a lot of bugs. And it wasn't necessarily bugs that you seen, but it was like, how can I say it? More of like, what the fuck was that type of thing? So, you know, after a play, you throw the ball to the guy and he'd catch it, right? And go for the first down, right? And then as you're choosing your play, you're seeing all these motherfuckers trip over each other. Like it's like the uh, field is slippery or something like they white, uh put bubbles down on the field and all some shit so you don't see that anymore I haven't seen it um you really don't see like just the players not flopping everywhere but you know how ragdoll physics get when ragdoll physics fuck up and um you don't see that in this it, it has that NCAA animation where it retains that that uh top notch animation system where anything can happen at the same time not uh, given, uh, what the fuck is this moment? Now, with the offense, it, it felt like NCAA, you know. I haven't played Madden 13 in years. Well, ages, because it only came out for a year. But, so I can't really name the changes, but it felt great. You know, passing felt great. Nothing really felt different. Um, I will say the running game, something I suck at. I suck balls at in football games. It felt, re like, much better. Even, you see Aaron Rodgers celebrating with the crowd right there too. It's, it feels much better. It feels more looser. And when they say that tagline, run free, like you really fucking running free. You just feel like, after you run touchdowns, countless amount of touchdowns in this game, you just want to go in your backyard, get like a football, or if you don't have a football, get one of those gay eyes and earth balls that's really cheap, and just fucking run free in that backyard, man. Like you Adrian Peterson. And yeah, so the running game is really good. Um, defense, I can't really speak on because that's like where you get to the technical aspect of football. But I will say that I suck at defense once again this year. And I'm I'm looking on, uh, you know, trying to refine my defense and get better at that. Um, is there anything else to say? The presentation was top notch. You know, at the end of the game where I win. You see that they was kind of dominating me for the whole game. Like, they was up for most of the game. And then you see the coach. I don't know, that white guy with the gray hair. He's, like, kind of on his knees. Like, he was just like, oh, we was up for the whole game. And then you motherfuckers blew it. Fuck you guys. You're not getting pizza after this. He had that look on him. And then you can tell it wasn't just, like, the game keeping him in that animation. Because the commentators even go to state, um... How does, how does it feel when you um when you're up for a game or nearly blowing the team out and they just come back to win? So you know that coach's animation goes on par with 
the commentaries. Commentary. The commentators commentary. And the only thing I can say I hate about this fucking demo is that Gus Johnson is not here, man. He's not here. You remember when you used to use a black guy and you throw it to the receiver and you was breaking away for a touchdown and he had his two catchphrase and he's got to get away from the cop speed. Like, I love that shit, but you don't see that anymore. But that's just one little gripe. Well, with that said, for the remainder of this game, I am going to have... The game speak for itself. I don't I don't want to sit here and talk over the whole game. So yeah, be careful. After the pass play, game seven. Second and three on the way. Looking for an open in the promised land. Touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The point after try is in the books. Yes. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. Running away from the pressure. He'll fire it out to the left. How did he drop that? You cannot play quarterback in the NFL anymore if you don't have good footwork. And that means in the inside the pocket or outside the pocket. Avoid those sacks. Third down now. Aaron Rodgers gonna take it from the shotgun. Aaron Rodgers. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Quarterback drops back, play action. Trying to make something happen. And that's a gain of 10. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. The Packers come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. No margin for error. What a catch. Touchdown. That was really a good job by the quarterback that time. Just executing the drive and not taking any chances and they just systematically march down the field and get the go-ahead touchdown the seahawks have fallen behind late and now they're desperate pressure on the quarterback he does not have time to find an open guy and it results in an incompletion down the field and they can't connect this was a good game to watch today competitive all the way to the end is every win sweet or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes well the close ones are more satisfying because the 